What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Got a special treat for you here today. Bobcat. We got a good catch cook eat episode coming your way. This is something pretty different. Most likely it's going to get flagged. I can already see the comments and the flags coming my way and the reports of violations. There's just something about some animals out there that just trigger people. A lot of people out there have a misconception that bobcats are a endangered or a rare species. One person even called them an exotic species. Most of society is so out of touch with the natural world that they don't fully understand just how common these animals are and how much damage some of these animals can do to livestock. Uh, if you raise ducks or chickens, these, these bobcats can destroy those populations around here with the wild turkeys, bobcats can decimate a turkey population. My daughter got into trapping uh, about three years ago. We didn't actually do it. We were going to trapping events and she was pretty intrigued with it. At the time she was uh, six years old, which was pretty crazy to have a little girl that age in, in, involved and interested in trapping. In 2020, because of COVID, all this, a lot of the state parks and things were closed down. So the trapping rendezvous, the East Tennessee Trappers Rendezvous, we actually hosted here on our farm. And we got to spend the entire weekend there. She learned some trapping tips and techniques. And this year she decided she wanted to put it to use. Well, this week during a warm spell that came through, this is the last week of trapping season here in Tennessee, she managed to luck into a bobcat. And she was extremely excited to catch it. Um, me, having zero trapping experience, I didn't really know what to do, but we managed to get it taken care of. We have skinned it and stretched it, and it's in the house now drying. But in addition to that, we're going to use the meat. I have tried to ingrain in my children from a very young age that we should try to make use of anything we kill. Even if it's a predator, something that's here going to damage, or we're trying to do it for just property control, property management, uh, purposes, we're going to do the best that we can to try to make use of the meat on that animal. Stick around. We're going to get into this here shortly. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of footage of her trapping experience, and then we're going to jump into the cooking and eating aspect of it. But I fully expect the haters to comment. I fully expect the, the violations to be reported. My advice to those of you who are unfamiliar with this lifestyle whether it be because you are isolated in your suburban living environment and you're not fully understanding or aware of what it is that we do and why we do it, I advise you to get in touch with your state wildlife regulatory agencies. Educate yourself on these animals, their populations, what they do, and why management of these through hunting and trapping is important. Just do that, please. Feel free to leave whatever comments you want, but please make sure that it's an educated, understanding process that you're going through as opposed to just a purely emotional response based on you associating this animal with your pet cat that's laying in your lap. Very different animal. Very different animal. Stick around. Hope you enjoy. God bless. I said we caught something. I think it's a coyote. I think it's a coyote? Yeah. Because you came up and said, you got to see this. Oh, yep, that's a coyote, I think. Is that a fox? Looks like a cat. <gasps> no, it's a bobcat. What'd you catch? We got a bobcat. Yeah, you got a no wonder when it got up, I thought it was a big fat raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> I just thought it was a fat raccoon. <gasps> yep, big old bobcat. That thing's huge. Hello. It's mean. I've already came down here to it, and it was slashing and snarling at me. Big. That's a. They get bigger than that, but that's a. That's, that's a decent a, sized bobcat. Yeah. That tiny little tail. Mm-hmm. Oh. 
Look at that. Uh, what do you got, babe? Bobcat. Bobcat. It's as long as you are almost. Yeah. And, and he's heavy. He's heavy? Oh, yeah. Think about how many turkeys and birds yeah. and rabbits and squirrels he's killed. Not Peter. Not Peter? Yeah, you don't want him to kill Peter, do you? No. He will not know more. Ugh. I saw a couple during deer season. I wonder if this was one of them. Face. He's How soft mean. is he? Very soft. Very soft? Even the, the toe pads are soft. Yeah? yeah. It kept on just getting dug up. Yep. What did so I say that I baited it with last night for the first time all season? I had an old chunk of deer liver. Oh, yeah. And I sliced it up thin and I put deer liver in there. Yeah. I can't lift him up that high. <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. take him up here to the house. Alright, welcome inside. So, I've got the bobcat meat laid out here now. What I did was about uh, 12 hours ago, I took it and I put it in a gallon size Ziploc bag, uh, some cold water, and some just, I used canning salt because that was really the only non-iodized salt that I had here that was that size. So, I used a little bit of canning salt in it, just kept turning it over. Uh, you want to pull as much blood out of the meat as you can. The blood can be a little bit uh, strong flavor from these uh, predators of this type. So I've taken it out now. I've laid it out here. It's just dried for a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I've got the Reload Rub High Caliber. This is the Chipotle Garlic Blend. So I'm going to season the meat here. Okay. Done seasoning the meat now. What I'm going to do this is a uh, pint of homemade deer stock, venison stock. So I made this uh, based on the date of this one. It's from my buck that I killed at the end of the year. So I'm going to add that into the crock pot here. It's got lots of, lots of flavor in that venison stock. I'm going to just lay these chunks of meat down in there. Alright, so meat's in the crock pot. I'm going to ahead and turn that on to high. Uh, this right here is some just pickled jalapenos that we do. We make, we grow our own jalapenos. We've got a pretty good sized garden. So this is just what's left of one of the jars. I'm going to sprinkle this in here. And crock pot's on high. Put the lid on. And I'm just going to come back and check it later. This is going to have to cook for uh, five, maybe six hours. And then we're going to come and just shred it apart. And then we're going to eat it on some sliders later. So stick around. All right, well, we're back now. It's been about um, four hours looking at the clock over here. So you can actually start smelling. You can smell the uh, bobcat here now. What do you think, Karen? Smell good? Yeah. Yeah? Whose bobcat was this? Mine. Your bobcat? Oh, okay. Look at it. It's in there just simmering and cooking away. Um, I'm going to pull a piece out, and I'm going to try to cut into it and just see how tender it is, how well cooked it is and try to get an idea of how much longer it's going to have to go. Can you get your knife? If you give me a knife, that'd be fine, okay? Thank you. Pull another piece out here and see how it does. And do a little taste test. Yeah. It's very, uh, you know, they always say it's pork-like. And it, it does look a lot like a pork. Um, you know, in that it's, it's kind of fiery, stringy. It's a light pink color. We're just going to do our first taste impressions here of it. Okay. It's really spicy through what you put on it. It's what? It's spicy through that stuff you put on it. Okay. It's not that bad. How's it taste though, other than the spice? It's good. It's good? Yeah, it's really good. It's really good, huh? Alright, Trey, you want to take a test? No. No? Yes, you do. <laughs> I know he does. It really is like a, it's like a pork. I mean, texture is kind of like a pork loin. It took the flavor of the spice really well. Huh, that's, that's not bad. I think it's good to try it. Right, I'm gonna pull some out and start cutting it up and shredding it up here. 
All right, so this is just shredding up pretty easily, actually. Um, and so when I put it in the crock pot, I didn't tell you earlier, what I had was I had the back straps and the hams in there, and uh, they both they both cooked really well, and they're both just shredding up. We went ahead and we've uh, shredded up all this bobcat. We threw it back in the crock pot here. It was still hot, and all the juices were in there, and I just tossed it around in there so that it can soak up some of the remaining juice, take up some of that flavor. Got our sides cooking, and uh, we're going to start dishing up some uh, sliders here in a little bit. I mean, obviously this isn't something we would normally go out to hunt to eat, but because we caught it, we don't want to waste it. Don't want to waste it. Exactly right. We made our salmon, made our sliders here. No one else wanted to be on camera because they're in pajamas and nobody wanted to be on video. So um, I want to say it was mixed responses on the bobcat. My daughter really liked it. She thought it was a little too spicy. Son thought it was, he ate, he ate three sliders, so I guess he liked it. The wife was not a fan, but she got into a bite of something that just did not taste good at all in about her fourth bite. And uh, interestingly, as I was going through my second one, I, I got a bite of something like that. So I don't know if maybe there was a uh, kind of a scene of fat on one of the hams or something, and that fat was just really rich and strong flavored. Um, I don't know. I have no idea what it was. Maybe it's just the different muscle groups have different flavor profiles. Jury's out. I think it's about a 50-50. Some negative, some positive. I need to figure out why there was such a dramatic shift in flavors, though, from, you know, I don't know what it was. It was an experiment. I've told the kids all along. If you want to kill something, you need to make sure at least you try to eat it. So we did that here. There's still some meat here left. I may try to do something with it tomorrow. I haven't decided yet. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Uh, comment <laughs> if you if you see that we did something different or see wrong. Uh, if you can recommend something we can do differently going forward if we decide to do this again. Just leave a comment below. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, year, and just God bless.